Hey friends, today I would like to show you how to change engine oil in your Mercedes-Benz vehicle. In my case, I recently purchased 1999 E300 turbo diesel. This car has a 3 liter 24 valve turbo diesel engine in it. Uh, the number for it is OM606 and we will be working on this one today. Now what we will use? We will need some oil catching pan underneath the vehicle. I have another one for the oil filter which will be in the engine bay. For the oil drain plug you will need 13 millimeter wrench and up there on the oil filter this is the housing and this is 36 millimeter socket I don't have it here at home I have it at work but not here so I will use the very large crescent wrench that oil filter housing the, the top is not super tight because they say the max is 26 newton meters so it will go off with that crescent so most importantly I have the new filter engine oil filter from Napa it says here 1187 and on the forum I found out that the only approved engine oil for this vehicle is the mobile one in this case it was turbo diesel truck 5W40 and we will need approximately 8 quarts so I bought this uh, two big ones and this is what we will use so first thing I did it was in the morning so I uh, needed to warm up the oil that it will be uh, nice and warm and it will nice drain out so I ran the vehicle for the five minutes and then I needed to get underneath the car to access that drain plug so I found a place which was very slight slope so the rear was a little bit higher than the front and then I use uh, my jack to lift the front to gain the access underneath the car and you see it's supported by two jack stands now I want to mention right now what is really important if you have any doubt about your safety that the vehicle can move and roll or uh, you don't have a jack stands correct jack stands don't do this because to risk that the car will fall on you, that's not worth it. The oil change costs a few dollars anyway. It's like the cheapest thing you can pay for. So give it to the garage and don't do that. Your safety is most important. And we have to look at it that way. So please make sure the handbrake, the emergency brake is set. And the vehicle is nicely supported by the jack stands. It's very important and also the vehicle is leveled yeah. the front it's not higher than the rear it's nicely leveled right now so the oil most of the oil will get out from the oil pan okay so now I will take my oil catching pan and get under the car and release that <laughs> oil pan drain plug which is right here on the driver's side of the vehicle so I'm using my 13 and counterclockwise of course break that bolt that was it and uh, keep the pen underneath release the bolt there is also washer there so don't lose that washer you will reuse it in the future I, uh, it wasn't supplied with the filter unfortunately so I will check it out and reuse it if possible Okay, that's a long bolt. And come on, baby. Oh my god, it's long. And here we go. So the oil is nicely flowing out. You can see it's really black. But 
but it's normal in the diesel even if it's like three weeks old it will be black already now the next thing to make the oil oil go out you open this filler and now there's there will be no vacuum in the engine the air can go inside since you don't want anything fall inside of the engine what I do I just leave it on top of it like that and any dust from surrounding cannot enter the, the engine that will be really bad cool so the next will be the oil filter and I jump back underneath the vehicle to see that the paint is correctly um, underneath the oil and it gives me also the chance when it's finally in the air to go and see what's happening here there is basically missing the cover I think the whole thing was covered because I see continues with the another cover here and I already see the first thing which somebody didn't do correctly look at this that secondary cover is not correctly attached here so I have already some extra work waiting here for me I can see the radiator and everything seems to be even new so that's cool I have some oil leak here this is the turbo intercooler so it's vat there is oil but most importantly I find another problem I can see something flowing down here and what it is my friends it's a coolant so this is actually good if you do it by yourself you can inspect the car and I can see that I have next project waiting here is the valve, the monovalve cooling valve and I believe it's leaking so I will have to find out if it's hoses or if it's the valve itself okay okay so the next step for us will be the oil filter as I said I will use the crescent it wasn't tied at all there's no need to tight this housing strong because the, the, the leak is prevented by the o-ring which is on the top so please don't over tight it it's plastic then somebody else can have a hard time removing it so as we said it's a 36 millimeter socket or you can buy a special tool for it if you want I don't think it's necessary I have another little catcher container here not to make mess I don't want to be cleaning anything really quickly put it underneath and I caught the filter you see how it's dirty however it's difficult to say how old it is uh, because that will be black when the oil is black so that, that, that's that's okay